prime time. Uh, so tune in Wednesday right here on First Take. All right, so we know uh, many teams around the league are considering a change at the most important position in football. Cam Newton is one of the many free agent quarterbacks after his one-year deal in Foxborough expired. Cam was asked on the I Am an Athlete podcast about his future as a starting quarterback. I hear all that, bro. Yeah. Like, I ain't never been a favorite. Yeah. Going into last year, is he healthy? Mm-hmm. I just want to finish healthy. Mm-hmm. Now it's, it's, like, it's like if I'm able to learn his system, like, come on, bro, I can't go out like that. My, my, my pride won't even allow me to do that. And you could talk about this, you could talk about that, you could talk about whatever. Listen, bro, there's not 32 guys better than me. Mm. Put it like that. So if you're asking me, you at, like, top, bro, top, top, top. I, I'm not 32. That's fair. Uh, he isn't 32. Both Cam and fellow number one overall pick Jameis Winston are among a group of free agent signal callers. Stephen A., which quarterback would you rather have next season? Would you go Jameis or Cam? Oh, man. Um, I got to admit it. It would be Jameis Winston. Um, Cam Newton. In his career. And I'm not trying to say that it's over. I'm just basically saying last year you threw eight touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Now, I know that has a lot to do with you being bereft of weapons in New England, which is a Bill Belichick problem more so than it is his. I get all of that. But when I look at Jameis Winston, I got the 30 interceptions. I got him putting new meaning to 30 for 30. I got all of that. But the last time we saw this brother as a starting quarterback, he did throw for 5,000 yards. He did throw 33 touchdowns. Now, he was a mistake waiting to happen, and we get all of that. But he was also somebody that could make things happen as well. And so when I look at it from that perspective, we're not saying the same things about Cam Newton right now. He can't run the ball the way that he used to because he's not the the athlete that he once was because he's been beaten up, age and attrition. Um, We appreciate what he's done. He's a former league MVP. Uh, He's been in the league for 10 years. Um, he's gotten the team to a Super Bowl. We know the talent that he has possessed, but age and attrition can beat you up. And I think that's something that we have to pay attention to. And if what we have to go on is the last time we saw these two dudes as a starting quarterback, you have to ask yourself the simple question, even with the 30 interceptions, do you want to go the route of a Jameis Winston who threw for over 5,000 yards and 33 touchdowns? Or do you want to go the route of Cam Newton? Um, that, that to me is the question. I'm not saying Cam Newton is finished. And I certainly, again, want to reiterate that that kid that got that was talking to him the way that he did, it was incredibly disrespectful the way that he talked to Cam Newton. You know, most people would that, that, you know, would never achieve what Cam Newton has achieved in their lifetime on any level. Most people would not do what Cam Newton has done. You show that man the respect and deference he deserves, particularly if you're a high school kid and a football player who may never, ever be the player that Cam Newton once was. But in fairness, you know, to to, to, to the Jameis Winstons of the world, if I'm comparing the two right now, all I got to go on, Max, is the last time I saw them both throwing the football. Okay. And you know how big I am about that. And I just think that Jameis Winston would be the better option at this point in time. Well, if you go, look, the answer is Cam Newton. I'd rather have Cam than Jameis next season as my starting quarterback. Now, I'm not even going to go through the career argument, Stephen A., because you're talking about the last time we saw them. What could we expect from them this year? But it is somewhat relevant, the fact that Cam Newton at one point in his career was voted by his peers the year he won MVP and took his team to the Super Bowl. By his peers in the middle of Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers' prime, that's the best player in football. Other football players said that. The voters said that. And it was the truth. He was once the best player in football for a year. Okay. When last seen healthy in an environment in which he was familiar in a normal season, Cam Newton was a better passer than he was the year he was considered the best player in the world. Right? Norv Turner was the offensive coordinator. You and I have discussed that. I'm not even going to usually really use that as the basis of my argument, but it's in there somewhere. It should be, unless if if you really think he's not finished, then stuff like that is, what's the highest height Jameis Winston's ever hit? Nothing like Cam Newton's. So Cam at his best was a better quarterback. But as you said, the question is, when last seen? This is actually a very good kind of uh, subject, because think about it like this. 
Tom Brady was in New England. He looked around and said, "Uh uh-uh, I can't do anything with this. Got knocked out in the first round of the playoffs. So he goes to Tampa because they're so loaded and wins the Super Bowl. Going from first round KO loss in the the playoffs to winning the Super Bowl. Because he went from New England's situation to Tampa's. Now, who are the other quarterbacks who've quarterbacked in New England and Tampa most recently other than Tom Brady? It just so happens to be Cam Newton and Jameis Winston. And what did they do? What was the record of their teams? Because when we look at the numbers and everything, that's just means to an end. Can you lead your team to wins? Actually, they both went 7-9. and nine. Jameis went 7-9 and nine in the loaded team that Tom Brady won a Super Bowl with. Cam went 7-9 and nine in the team that Tom Brady got knocked out in the first round and left because the situation was no good. And Jameis was healthy when he played in Tampa. Cam came off a catastrophic injury, missed a year, into a COVID year, couldn't practice with his teammates, got COVID himself, facilities were shut down, couldn't practice even more, and still went seven and nine. And Stephen A, not only did he go seven and nine, he, nine, he beat a whole bunch of really good teams. So not only is their height in their career, Cam hit a much greater height than Jameis, but most recently, in terms of the teams, like where you can directly compare them, Cam had a better effect on the team than, than Jameis. Same team Tom Brady left, same record as, as Jameis, 7-9. and nine. I don't disagree with that, Max. I'm just saying that at the end of the day, I'm watching Cam throw the football, and I've been very, very consistent with, with, with this throughout Cam's career. Um, I think he's only thrown more for better than 60% of his passes, only completed better than 60% of his passes two or three years in his entire career. Okay, he's been in the league for 10 years. He's not an accurate thrower of the football, and that's what I pay attention to. Now, obviously, with Jameis Winston's 30 interceptions, they are what they are. I'm just looking at Cam Newton, and I'm thinking about the years that he was running with the football. Ron Rivera told him to slow that down because, obviously, you were going to subject yourself to unusual punishment, and that's not necessary in terms of the longevity of your career once that's taken into consideration. I'm looking at Jameis Winston. You got a fresh arm. I'm also looking at him uh, being coached by Bruce Arians. Now, we appreciate what Bruce Arians done, has done this year. We certainly appreciate the staff that he has assembled. We get all of that. But in the end, Bruce Arians has never been confused with being Bill Belichick. And the system that Cam Newton went into plays a role as well. Because sometimes with him and Josh McDaniel, who are Super Bowl championships three, four, five times over, in Bill Belichick's case, eight, uh, you got to think about all of those things taken into consideration as well before you make that assertion. And in my mind, I'm just looking at my eyes and I'm saying in terms of a thrower of the football, Cam Newton cocking his head back, the release not being that quick, his throws not being that accurate for me from the quarterback position as a thrower of the football. I think Cam Newton is an all world athlete. I've never confused him with being an all world thrower of the football. And that's just where I'm at within the last scene. I mean, I would have to tell you that to me, I would think that Jameis Winston has a chance of being a better passer of the football at this point of his career, you know, having so much time to do that. Whereas Cam, even though he's only 31, 32 years of age, he's gone through a lot in his career. I don't know if, I don't think, I don't know if we'll ever see the old Cam again. That's my reservation. That's, that's fair. That's fair to say, hey, Bill Belichick is not just coaching the quarterback. He's coaching the whole team, and he's the greatest coach of all time. And that gives Cam an advantage, and I get that. I think that's a fair point. And as a thrower of the football, I get it too. Here's the difference. If I, I could see situations where I think, like Washington, Cam, would be a, Cam could start there. I don't see any situation where I look and I go, Jameis could start there. I think it's a mistake to start Jameis. All right, Winston attempted 11 passes in just four games last season. We will leave it there, fellas. Uh, When we come back, the Super Bowl champs, they got a lot of moves to make. Uh, Speaking of free agency decisions, so which pass catcher should Tom Brady fight harder to keep in Tampa? Would you go A.B. or Big Gronk? We debate it. I don't want to hear from this dude. Wait, ding, ding, ding. Hang in. I got to get in. I mean, the quickest transition in the history of television. What? (laughs) This can't even be real. You know what? I'm coming for you.